Hello, Earth sign. Hello to all of my Capricorn, Tauruses, and Virgos. This is your reading for the weekend vibes. This reading is for all of the Earth signs out there. Capricorns, Tauruses, and Virgos. This reading will be for the weekend of June 25th to June 27th. Okay, this reading again is for my Earth signs. If you are returning, you are welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. Okay. If this reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you have not, or you would like to subscribe to the channel to show some support because you feel like you connect with my readings, you connect with me as a reader, hit the subscription link along with the notification bell. Hit that thumbs up image to help the video circulate. If you need a private reading, the link is in the description box. Okay. All right, so let's get started. Get the energy for my earth signs. We have the seven of pentacles. That is your energy. What other messages? Okay. All right. All right, earth signs. Talk to me. All right. So you have the Nine of Pentacles, you have the Hermit card, Virgo's energy, the Ten of Cups, okay, Let's see what other messages are there for my Earth signs. We have the Ace of Cups. The Knight of Cups. Okay. The Four of Swords. The Five of Swords. And the Nine of Swords. Okay. So I see some overthinking here. Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So we have a message coming in. Could be pertaining to finances, could be pertaining to stability. With the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like you have a message coming in. Someone wants to nurture a situation with you. I feel like this person is, um, they feel as if you are happily single. They want to nurture the situation. They feel like they planted enough seed. You could have been with this person for seven years or more. This person wants to nurture the situation. They feel like you are happy without them. It could be a Virgo or you could be a Virgo because this is earth sign, but you pulled your energy from this person. You withdrew your energy from this person to gain some type of clarity and enlightenment. And I feel like this person sees you as being single and on cloud nine. Okay. This person could be coming in telling you that they want children with you. They could be coming in telling you that they want marriage. This person is coming in telling you that they want a new beginning in love. You make them feel complete. You make them feel at home. This person is happy with you. You may already have children with this person. Comment below and let me know if this is your story. Okay? This person is going to come in. They may bring you a gift. They may send you a letter. This person is coming in prepared, okay? 
they're going to charm your pants off of you. Or vice versa, apply the energy as it fits to your story. You may be going to a beach with this person, some type of vacation. This person could be very handsome as well. Good looking, dark features. But I feel like with this Four of Swords and this Five of Swords, this person is feeling like when you withdrew your energy, you took their heart. You had the key to their heart and you took, you removed your energy and this person feels like they lost their heart. Like they lost a piece of their heart. They could be um, leaving their deceptive ways or their, um, like, that, not deceptive, but that lack of integrity behind, which is causing them, this, this person is having headaches now, thinking about you, they, because they're up in their head. They're like, please, what can I do to get my earth sign back? What, 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 what can I do? I'm, I'm feeling anxious. I'm worried. I'm up at night. I can't get any sleep. This is tormenting me. How do I get my person back? And they know that the only thing that they can do to get you back is to come in with a higher level of commitment. Okay? This is what they know. They have to come in with a higher level of commitment. Or else you will not take them back. Okay? Yeah. Because they left you feeling wounded. Feeling like you were putting in all this work. And they were taking their time, taking their sweet old time to commit to you with that Knight of Pentacles. Taking their time, wandering off, possibly juggling with their Six of Pentacles, juggling work, juggling juggling people, family, anything that um, is taking their attention away or was taking their attention away from you, they um, they they weren't um, thinking about working on the relationship with you because they were doing other things. So you moved on to, towards peace and harmony and nurtured yourself. Nurtured yourself, could have possibly nurtured your children. But you took care of you. And now, this person wants to come in and balance things out with their temperance card, Sagittarius energy. Because they love you. They just, they are realizing that they love you. And now they want a family. Because you cut them off. <laughs> you cut this person off. Now they want to come back in. Yeah, they want to put an end to this silence or this, this, um separation and they want to come in and balance things out with you this person is sitting there bored discontent crying crying or, or no not crying they, this person is sitting there bored discontent and feeling very ignored because they feel like they're offering you a cup of their love or they want to offer you a cup of their love but they think they feel like you're not going to take it they may try to come in quickly to throw you off your game. As I said before, come in quickly with gifts to throw you off your game. But with this Three of Cups, this, there were too many people involved in this situation. Could be with a Leo with their strength card. This person could have been a wolf in sheep's clothing. But I'm seeing that um, with their Three of Cups, there, again, there were too many people involved in this situation. And I feel like this person was breadcrumbing you with this page of wands. They were barely taking action to do things with you, to talk to you. And it caused some type of heartbreak. So you move, removed your energy. Because there's a decision to make. Could be pertaining to this third party. 
about leveling, leveling up a relationship with the Hierophant. Taurus energy. Yeah. Leveling up a relationship. Being stabilized, consistent, committed. And now this person is anxious, hoping with their star card, hoping that um, things get better. This person needs to, is healing. They want a new beginning. They're healing at this time because I feel like you left them out in the cold. You took control of the situation with the emperor, Aries energy. Yeah, you definitely took, this person was playing games. And see, you, you were, this person was playing checkers and you were playing chess. Okay? And now this person could be spying on you, looking at your social media, driving past your home, looking through your phone, doing something. Because you have guarded yourself and focused on your energy on you. Yep. Focusing on you. Doing what makes you happy. Knowing that you are the prize. And that you deserve the love, the same love that you put out. And that now you have balance in your life. Justice, peace, Libra's energy. Because you walked away from this person. You have stability. You could be doing things, more things with your family at this time. Some of you may have a dog. You could be engaging with younger children. But you have a new beginning. You're focusing on your pinnacle. And you're leaving this person behind. Because they caused you heartbreak, pain, and disappointment. They left you feeling backstabbed and betrayed. So you're leaving them behind. Yep, eight of swords. And now this person, again, is up in their head. They are feeling like um, they are tormenting themselves. Because they don't, I feel like this person was wearing a mask. They presented themselves to you as, um, you know, being happy where things were at. And now that you've walked away. Their true feelings are coming out. They are thinking about it because you moved away with this Ten of Wands. You took action and did what you had, what was best for you. And I feel like you didn't even have a discussion with this person. You just moved in. Because as I said earlier in the reading, I feel like you've been dealing with this person for it could be seven years or more. You've been dealing with this person for some years. And they've been doing the same thing, brag from me. So again, they may call you on the phone and tell you or express to you how they feel, tell you that they love you. May tell you something to get back in. Yeah. May tell you they want um to kiss or something. They want to kiss you or something like that. Or they may really want to physically kiss you. But look, they have options. This person... <laughs> They still have options. They have decisions. They could have been stringing you alone. And you said, no, not today. It's, it's done. Yep, third party interference, seduction. Person could have been coming in to have sex and then leaving. Yep, the relationship is over. This person needs to go through a transformation and grow up. So, Earth Signs, this is your weekend reading. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Be safe. I am sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Bye.